So the fish that were in the 55 gallon, the recent shipment from the Cichlid Shack over in Tempe, Arizona, have been brought over to the 300 gallon, all except for the uh, eye biter. I want the eye biter to get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more attitude, be a little less shy, and a little more aggressive. Hopefully, he's capable of that, and then I'll bring him over. Otherwise, he was looking great, eating well, but uh, really kind of hiding and and staying out of everybody's way, and just didn't quite have the attitude. I like to see in an African cichlid before they're added to the main tank. When I quarantine fish, I look at a, several factors, not just that they're disease free, but also how are they doing in attitude and temperament. And those are just some of the things I consider before bringing them over. But the ones that were brought over are doing really well. And in the back there, you can see the um, the Buchachromus and the uh, Christogaster hanging out. They've become kind of buddies. I don't know why that happened, but maybe because they came over together. There's the Christogaster. Everybody in the tank is going a little crazy right now. They think it's time to eat. And there's the uh, Buchachromis rhodesii yellow. The yellow Buchachromis. the way Bukakromus always are. Also uh, in here is the Kowingi. You can see him right there. The Kowingi was just brought over. strong fish, was eating very, very well, was pretty aggressive in the 55, so I knew he would do well in the 300. And you can see he's got no, uh, no fin damage, no signs that he got the, uh, a welcome, which is very typical in an African cichlid tank where they kind of beat the new guy up, but it uh, doesn't look like he got any of that. He looks good. I suspected he would. He would do well because of his attitude in the 55. Nobody was messing with him. Fusco, despite having a Venusus and a um, Living Stone Eye here in the tank, the Fusco is doing great.
the patterns on the body of a Pusco. This one has a lot of blue in the body. Very pretty guy. But again, look at his fins. He really hasn't run into anything. Even though the Living Stone Eye and the Venusus are very much larger than he is and could give him a real beating if they wanted to. So that's a pleasant, a pleasant surprise because usually when you put Nimbochromus types of African cichlids together, you, know, you cross your fingers and, and hope for the best. So there you have it. The tank looks a, a little bit more stocked with the addition of those fish. There probably will be a few more added over time, but for right now I think I have a very good collection of African cichlids with these new additions. There's the living stone eye. You can see when he's all blue like that, he's a little fired up. But again, it might be just because he's uh, trying to create some space around him for the upcoming meal that he know, knows is coming. Autopharynx tetrastigma, just an amazing fish. If you don't have one in your African cichlid collection, I highly recommend it. Pretty nice attitude. Gar is looking crazy as usual. So that's the update, the transition of those fish to the new tank. The chrysogaster, you can see him right there. He had a little bit of uh, shredding at the back of his dorsal in the 55. It doesn't look any worse since he's come over to the 300. So I think he's, he's doing fine. Just a beautiful fish. So that's it for now. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below about these fish. I'll be happy to answer them. And I hope to see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. We'll talk about African cichlids, South American community, planted tanks, bettas, you name it. We cover it all on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. Don't let the name don't let the name deceive you. It's about a lot more than just cichlids. If you like the content of the channel, be sure to give the video a uh, thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And for those of you who would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member of the Garage Gang and become a monthly Patreon supporter. All your, uh, all your support by viewing the videos is greatly appreciated. Thank you, my friends. Bye-bye.